Hello everyone, Sally here and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build a very simple, very cheap, and extremely efficient basalt farm in your Bedrock Edition world, and I'll be showing you how to build two versions of this. The smallest version produces around 9 stacks of basalt a minute, or 34,000 items per hour. If you need a little bit more basalt for some reason, then we have a slightly larger design which produces around 19 stacks of basalt a minute, or around 72,000 items an hour. Basically, these farms are as simple as you can get them. There is absolutely no redstone. The most complicated bit is the item collection for your many thousands of items. If you need basalt for anything in your world, so building one of these farms is an absolute no-brainer. So let's check out these farms in detail, shall we? As you can see, this is the smallest version right here. It is absolutely dead simple. You can probably build it just by looking at it, which is really neat. We have ourselves one hopper minecart for item collection, a hopper underneath this lava to prevent some of the lava, and collect any items that may go into the lava because that's actually a thing you can do as you can see if we throw that glass into the lava it's actually going to end up in the chest down here kind of a weird thing but hey you know what helps for the item collection of this farm and that's really all there is to it so this simple little design produces about nine stacks a minute or 34,560 items per hour if we go into survival mode we can use our netherite pickaxe with haste 2 and start mining this thing you might think it's very slow at first but if we get the timing right it is going to start regenerating faster and faster and faster until it's basically non-stop regeneration of basalt basically this is definitely using an intended game mechanic of bedrock edition this is definitely supposed to happen 100 certainly not a bug <laughs> but anyway it does really help with the production rate of this farm and as you can see this right here is about as fast as it can go so it's really quite instant so if we stand from here for a minute you'll see that of course we're going to pick up a couple of items into the hot bar but for the most part a lot of the items are going to be collected by the hopper mine cart beneath this soul soil so if we stop mining this thing and then we can go ahead and open up that hopper mine cart as you can see we got several stacks of items in there we got a couple stacks of items in the chest and yeah this is a super simple way to easily get a bunch of assault moving on to the bigger version that produces around 72,000 items per hour this will give you 19 stacks of assault per minute a really Really, really good farm this is basically a bigger version of what i just showed you and as you can see it's pretty much as simple as you can really get it we got hopper mine carts inside of all of these soul soils for item collection and then some additional hoppers to either side of the basalt to catch items that would either go into lava and be lost or just fly off to the side and you know fly out of the farm of course so we can see all the chests all of these guys are empty and we can start using this farm really quickly as well this uses the same definitely intended game mechanic of super quick regeneration this is probably about as quick as it can go right here anyway it is so extremely quickly it's also so extremely annoying and loud as well i would highly recommend turning down your volume when using this farm and also standing in third person as well because standing in second person or first person is just 100 percent particles and nonsense so from that quick little use of the farm you can see that we got several stacks in this chest right here couple stacks in that one and some in that back one as well including some in the hopper mine carts too you might be thinking because this one is so efficient when mining just five blocks of basalt why don't we mine more blocks and well we actually can but of course we can't mine two full rows of five without moving the player around and in the act of moving the player we actually decrease the rates however if you want to have a farm for two players to use then you can simply build this farm too wide just like this version right here you can have one player afk mining this side another player afk mining this side right here something to note when using these farms of course you want to mine the blocks as fast as possible so for these tests i've been using a netherite pickaxe with efficiency five on it you're going to be mining a lot of blocks make sure you got multiple pickaxes or a good source of experience to mend your pickaxes and also putting down a haste to beacon might also be a good thing as well yes you can have beacons in the nether beacons can go through a bedrock so all you got to do is remove all of the nether rack right above the beacon up to the ceiling and then the beacon beam will work in the nether for you so yes for these tests i was using efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe 
haste to. If you get lower rates, that might be due to you using a diamond pickaxe, for example, or not having haste to. To use the farm, all you gotta do is stand on top of the chest right here and then start mining this block. You literally just hold down the mine button, but as you can see, it's a little bit slow. So, of course, it's not gonna start off super fast. You kind of gotta get it there after a while. You gotta build up to it. Now, what I would suggest doing is if it's still really slow like this after about 10 or 20 seconds, just quickly release the mine button for like a quarter second or even less just like a real quick unpress of it and keep doing that repeatedly about once a second and that should make it start going really fast so that's the easiest technique i've found for getting it to start regenerating really really quickly basically you just got to get the timing right of when exactly you're mining that block and then after just a couple unpresses of the mine button it should start regenerating basalt extremely quickly and you'll have something like this you'll know once it gets to the maximum speed because you'll just hear how crazy it is. <laughs> Let's quickly go over the mechanics of how these basalt farm works so that way you know everything that there is to know about them. So first of all, generally, when you're building a basalt farm, you want to build it in the nether. Lava really, really loves the nether. It can flow up to eight blocks away from the source block, as you can see there, and it flows really, really quickly as well. And the overworld, I think it only flows three to four blocks, and it's like half as fast as well. So don't build a basalt farm in the overworld. It is so, so much slower. Now, of course, basalt is formed whenever you have a soul soil with lava above it. And then there is also a blue ice block next to that lava. So if we put some lava right there, it flows into there. Bam, you got yourself an easy basalt generator. Super simple. So how exactly are we making the basalt reform so quickly? Under normal circumstances, this is about as fast as it really reforms. However, if you update the lava, that'll actually make it flow way quicker. So if I just hold down the mine button, you can see that this is going to start regenerating really, really quickly. And that's really all there is to it. This is kind of an oversight. Lava shouldn't really function this way. But you know what? It does. And we're going to take advantage of that because we deserve some nice things on the Bedrock Edition every now and again for all the bugs that we got to put up with. Anyway, we can set this up to a command block, of course, to remove both of those basalts. And you'll see that very quickly, these are going to start reforming so fast that it doesn't even look like it's getting broken. The literal command block executing 20 times a second cannot keep up with how fast these things are regenerating if we go ahead and teleport all the items to one spot you can see that just from two of these basalt generators we're getting about half a stack or so per second yeah it's pretty overpowered and really quite nice of course, you can build yourself a standard, you know, basalt generator like this version right here. However, you know, this is pretty slow. It does, of course, work. This does use a lot of redstone. And overall, when this exists, there's no real reason to build a redstone-based version. Sure, these versions will be a little bit lossy, but when you're getting so much basalt so quickly... That's not really something to worry about. That being said, for those of you who don't like bugs or maybe are prohibited from using bugs on your realms or your servers or whatever, or for when this bug is eventually patched, I will be showing you this version right here. This is a very simple version that generates basalt on both sides. And then of course you can mine the five blocks that are in front of you. We have a very simple repeater clock out the backside to power them and alternate. And when this is turned on, you'll get about 10 stacks a minute or 37,000 items per hour. Hour. It's pretty straightforward, it's really simple, and it works pretty well as well. As you can see, we can stand here, we can mine some things. There is, of course, some loss, but overall, this is a pretty good and solid little system. Today's tutorial is part of my advent calendar for December of 2020. Every single day in December, I'm releasing a brand new tutorial on the channel, some sort of farm, redstone contraption, or fun build for you guys to make in your world. We are nearing the end of the calendar now. I'm so sad. I've really enjoyed this, and hopefully you guys have as well of course if you're enjoying the calendar thus far and you haven't already then make sure to subscribe so you see more videos leave a like on the video of course and possibly share this around with anyone who you might think can get some use out of this in their worlds enough shameless promotion 
let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? And let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? For your convenience, there's gonna be a materials list for both of these builds down in the description of the video. For the ultra basic design, you need a three wide area by four blocks long. This is gonna be four blocks above the ground as well. We're gonna start off by placing a chest or a double chest in the front of the build, swing around the backside and place in a hopper right there. Then we need to go ahead and place in some temporary blocks in these three areas right here. Get in yourself a lower slab right there, and then of course your soul soil right in that block. Place in three rails, and then remove these two. We just need to get a curved rail right here. Place in another lower slab right there, and then your hopper right behind that soul soil. We're now going to go ahead and place a hopper minecart on that curved rail, and then break that curved rail by looking at the very edge of this block. We can now just go ahead and nudge this hopper minecart directly into that block and basically just go ahead and nudge it in there. That's all there really is to it. You might want to put a trap door right above your chest right here, just so your hopper minecart doesn't go out the front of the build, and uh, you know, basically you gotta put it back in there again. So if you put a trap door on the front, that'll hold it in just fine. Anyway, once you have that in place, you can go ahead and remove these three blocks like so, put some glass blocks or solid blocks on the side of the build to of course hold in the lava and catch any items from flying outside the farm. You need a blue ice block right here in this location to of course create the basalt. You can now go around to the back side of the build and place in an upper slab right there. And then I would suggest putting a button above that just to hold in your lava. You can of course put obsidian right here or maybe a wood block something that you can't mine or break very fast. Hopping into the tutorial for the bigger version that produces 72,000 items per hour, you're going to need a five wide area. This is going to be eight blocks long and four blocks above the ground yet again. Now you want to build this either facing north or facing south. The easiest way to tell which direction is which in the nether is to plant down yourself a sunflower. These guys will always face east no matter what dimension you are in or what happens so if you plant one of these down then you'll know which direction is east and that is thus going to be north the reason why you want to do this is thanks to the rails if you place down two rails next to each other and then another two you want to stay having them go that direction if we face this direction and try and do two rails oh no they they go the wrong direction trust me you want to build this the right direction it's going to be so much easier for the hopper minecarts we're going to start building by putting down our AFK block right here in the front middle. Put a trap door above that and then open that up. And then we're going to go ahead and install our chest. You can have a double chest going to the side like this, or you can put double chest in these areas right here. Either way, you need these going five blocks back. And then we're going to put hoppers going into the sides of these right here and hoppers going down into them like so. Now we want some temporary blocks right here in this area. Grab yourself some powered rails and now we need to place in our powered rails all above each of these like so. Remove these extra ones above your temporary blocks and then we need to start getting our hopper minecarts in here with the soul soil inside of the same block. So place in a hopper minecart carefully remove the powered rail below that hopper minecart. You'll have to very carefully aim at that, break it, and now we can start pushing in the soul soil. So you need yourself a piston right here in this area, soul soil in front of it, power the piston, and then bam, that's in the correct area. You want to lock in that hopper mine cart by placing a hopper on the side of that soul soil. Anytime you throw something into that hopper, that will of course go into your chest. Anyway, you want to repeat this process for the hopper minecart going all the way down the row until you have all five of your hopper minecarts installed. As you can tell, it is a pretty straightforward process, and this is what it should look like when you are done. We have five hopper minecarts installed, each of them inside of that soil soil block, and each of them locked in on either side by a hopper. The front one is further locked in by this trapdoor, and then the back one is also going to be locked in by another hopper right there. Now we need to surround this entire mess of hoppers with some glass or some blocks of your choice, and this will of course keep the lava in, and of course keep items from flying outside of your farm. Once all of your filler blocks are in place, this is what it should look like, and now we need to place a blue ice in this area right here, and finally put lava on the right side of the build, and that will flow across and then of course generate a whole bunch of basalt in this area. If you want to help prevent more loss then of course put some blocks right above the lava that will manipulate the item physics 
to going into the left direction and then falling into these hoppers right here. If you notice that you're having items land on these blocks like so, then of course just go ahead and put an extra layer of blocks right here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's Bedrock Edition tutorial, then of course let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always trying to help you guys out as best as I possibly can. And of course let me know what else you want to see as a tutorial or as part of the advent calendar in the comments down below. I'm here to make things that you guys will enjoy and this was a pretty requested tutorial surprisingly so thank you to everyone who requested this if you did enjoy this video then of course make sure to leave a like and share it around with your friends that way they can enjoy it too if you're new here and you want to see more tutorials in the future then consider subscribing and otherwise i'll see you down in the comment section and in the next one and then there was silence